My slides will cover the basic background of the natural rubber industry, the operation of TSR20 futures since the listing, and the contract details and rules. First of all, let's start with the natural rubber industry. The raw material of natural rubber is a latex, which is from the rubber tree. Rubber tree is a plant which prefers hot and humid climates, and that's why rubber trees are planted in tropical regions. Rubber trees originally growing in Brazil, now are mainly growing in Southeast Asia. Let's take a look at the overview of the natural rubber market. The major producing countries are Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, China, India, and countries in Africa. The major consuming countries are China, India, United States of America, Japan, and Thailand. China is the world's largest consumer of natural rubber and the largest producer of tires. According to IRSG statistics, in the year of 2019, the world's natural rubber production is 13.64 million metric tons, and the world's natural rubber consumption is 13.72 million metric tons. The global trade of natural rubber is mainly from the Southeast Asia to China through the Qingdao, Shanghai, Hangzhou, and Ningbo ports. The majority of natural rubber imported by China, which is used to produce tires, is TSR20. Because TSR20 is a major type of natural rubber, we select it as the underlying commodity of the international natural rubber futures. TSR20 futures, which is INE's second futures contract open to international investors, was listed on August 12, 2019. Its price is denominated in RMB and it is physically delivered in bonded warehouses. For international participants, US dollars and offshore RMB are accepted as margin deposit. For TSR20 futures has been listed for more than one year. Next, we would like to introduce its operation. Let's take a look at the operation of TSR20 futures in the past year from the perspectives of price, correlation, market scale, participant structure, warehouse inventory, and delivery. The price of INE's TSR20 futures closely tracks and is highly correlated with the natural rubber price in domestic and overseas sports and futures markets. The correlation indexes are all above 90%. For the market scale, a cumulative 2.85 million lots valued at RMB 275.69 billion had been traded by the end of August 2020. The average trading volume, turnover, and open interest were 11.07 thousand lots, RMB 1.07 billion, and 30.69 thousand lots, respectively. For the participant structure, both in open interest and trading volume, institutional clients occupied the market share of 60 to 70%. And for overseas clients, the participation percentage is about 10 to 20 percent. For the warehouse inventory, on December the 4th, 2019, the first batch of TSR 20 bonded standard warrants was originated, equaling 201.6 metric tons. In the past year, the inventory increased to more than 70,000 metric tons and right now decreased to about 30,000 metric tons, which is a parameter for supply and demand of TSR20. For the physical delivery, on February 24, 2020, 
The first physical delivery of TSR-20 was successfully completed despite challenges from COVID-19. As of August 2020, the delivery volume of TSR-20 reached 81.54 thousand metric tons. Next, we will talk about the details of INE's TSR-20 futures contracts and rules. This is our INE's TSR-20 futures contract. The contract size is 10 metric tons per lot. The price quotation is RMB per metric tons, exclusive of tax. The minimum price fluctuation is 5 yuan per metric ton. The range of price limit is within 5% of the settlement price of the preceding trading day. In practice, right now, the price limit is within 6%. The contracts are monthly contracts for the most recent 12 months. The trading hours right now in practice are 9 to 11 o'clock p.m., 9 to 11.30 a.m., and 1.30 to 3 p.m., Beijing time. The last trading day is the 15th day of the contract month. If it is a public holiday or weekend in China, the last trading day will be postponed accordingly. The delivery period is five consecutive trading days after the last trading day. The minimum trading margin is 7% of contract value, and right now, in practice, it is 8%. The product symbol of this contract is NR. The appendix specifies the delivery unit and the quality standards. The standard delivery unit is 10 metric tons, and the delivery should be made in multiples of the delivery unit for the quality standards specification. The commodity which can be delivered to the futures market should meet the quality standards set by INE, which you can see in this table. And the deliverable TSR20 must be of an INE registered brand and accompanied by a certificate of quality. The registered commodities and the designated delivery storage facilities will be introduced later. For the rule system, INE has a very complete rule system, and you can find the correlated rules for TSR20 in relevant chapters of the rule book. For TSR20 futures is available for global investors according to CSRC's regulation. The investors must follow the eligibility rules. In general, investors must meet the criterion from the aspects of knowledge test, available funds, and trading experience. But if you have already traded in China's equity index futures, government bond futures, commodity options, iron ore, and PTA, you are exempted in some of the above criterion, but need to sign required applications at your brokerage agency. If you are INE screwed or your investors, you will automatically have TSR20's trading access. This slide shows the participation modes for INE's products. Overseas clients have four ways to participate. One, open accounts through futures firm members, that is, FF members. Two, open accounts through overseas intermediaries. Three, open accounts through overseas special brokerage participants, that is, OSBPS. And four, directly trade as overseas special non-brokerage participants, which is OSMBPS. For the list of overseas intermediary and OSBPs, please refer to our website by following this link. Next, let's talk about the specific rules for TSR20 futures. As you have already known, the pricing and the settlement currency is RMB. Onshore and offshore RMB, 
U.S. dollars, standard warrants, etc., can be used as a margin collaterals. To convert U.S. dollars into RMB, CNY's central parity rate published by CFET S will be used, and there will be a 5% haircut. You can see the conversion formula on this slide. And just like all the futures in China, TSR20 is daily marked to market. Different trading margins will apply to different trading periods. As of listing, the minimum trading margin is 7%. As of the first trading day of the month before the delivery month, the minimum margin is 10%. As of the first trading day of the delivery month, the trading margin is 15%. As of the second trading day before the last trading day, the trading margin is 20%. Currently in practice, as of listing, the trading margin is 8%. If there are consecutive price limit hits, INE will increase the price limit and the trading margin according to this table. And in different months, there are different position limits. In the delivery months for clients, non-FF members, and OSMBPs, the position limit is 200 lots, single counted. In the first months, before the delivery months, the position limit is 600 lots. From the day of listing to the last trading day of the second month before the delivery month, the position limit is 2,000 lots. If your production or consumption or trading scale position is larger than the position limit in the previous slide, you can apply for the hedging quota. This slide shows the application procedure, and this can also be found in the hedging chapter of INE's trading rules. Next, let's talk about TSR20's delivery rules. The key points are as follows. The delivery unit is the size of a standard warrant, which is 10 metric tons. When doing the settlement, it will be treated as 10.08 metric tons. For the deliverable commodities, they should be registered commodities, and each standard warrant must compromise rubber of the same brand, manufacturer, and packaging specification. Before generating the standard warrant, the commodities should be inspected. For the physical part, there are delivery fees, storage fees, inspection fees, loan-in and loan-out fees. Clients who cannot issue or accept invoices cannot participate in physical delivery. For the validity period for standard warrants, the range of manufacturing dates under each standard warrant may not exceed 30 days. For physicals, under the same standard warrant, the earliest manufacturer date among them is regarded as the manufacturer date of that standard warrant. Standard warrant is valid for delivery for 12 months from the manufacturing date. How about the validity period for inspection results? Loading should be completed within 90 days of the manufacturing date. First inspection is valid for 180 days. Reinspection is valid for 90 days. The standard warrant holder is solely liable for any failed reinspection unless the designated delivery storage facilities is at fault. For exit from existing positions. Individuals, clients should close out all positions by market close on the eighth trading day before the last trading day. After market close on the third trading day before the last trading day, short positions held by clients, non-FF members, and OSBMPs 
may not exceed the size of standard warrants they hold. After the standard warrant has been generated, it can be used as margin, used for physical delivery, pledge the outside INE through INE standard warrant management system. When transferring standard warrants, it will be through the standard warrant management system and cleared through brokerage agencies and INEs.